How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of The Dojo. I'm Ivan Wittaborg, one of the TAs here, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into the repair shop exercise. So I'm just going to open up some of the Illustrator files here. Um, first up, we got Jay, and Jay did an awesome job uh, with the Pathfinder and the Bezier and the Eyedropper Industries. There's a few things. Um, I think the eyedropper industries, he did a fantastic job. I think the spacing between here is a little bit more than it should have been, um, but really awesome job on that. Um, I wanted to look at this Bezier Bakery because this is something that's very difficult to see in the PNG, which I'll pull up here. Um, let's see if we can get that right here. Um, so we zoom in just a little bit. So. This kind of stair-stepping texture that's here um, and these lines that are crossed. Um, well, the stair-stepping right here, that's, that's because of uh, like anti-aliasing. Basically, they're with pixels. There's no like curved pixels. They're all squares. And so in order to get that curved look, basically, there's just like stair-step pixels placed there. And so that can sometimes give this illusion of a jagged edge. Um, and in reality, this looks more like the pen tool in Illustrator, the icon, where there's a little bit of a, there's like a circle and just kind of a rectangle going out from that. Um, I know it's super hard to see in the, the PNG, but sometimes it's helpful in these recreations to kind of think about, okay, like what are they trying to make and uh, what does that thing look like? And that can help inform maybe what uh, is underneath all of these really blurry pixels. Um, and everything else is is almost spot on. There's a little bit of a of some um, a line popping out right here, um, and this line here should probably come out a little bit more like this, not scooping in as much. And really, with this exercise, we want to try to match the PNG as perfectly as possible. Um, but Jay, you did an awesome, awesome job. Now we're going to move on to Irina. Um, she did an awesome job on the Bezier Bakery. Um, still had a little bit of an issue with this. I know this is one that uh, a lot of us uh, got messed up on. Um, but it's a circle and a little rectangle coming out of there. Let's pull up this again. Um, and uh, the shape of this pen tool is a little bit off here. Um, it's, it's more of uh, this right here is not pushed down. It's more of a straight line across right there and not a curved line. These are all straight lines. I think the other part of this is the, um, let's see if we can zoom out there, is right here on the bottom. These shouldn't be as, these shouldn't be rounded at all. I think they're just corner points, um, but this bottom part is actually the part that is rounded, um, as well as some of these lines here. They should just be straight up and down. Um, but really awesome job overall. You really did the, the type really perfectly. That was a, a great job there. All right, we're moving on to Dana next. She did a great job with the eyedropper industries. This whole uh, icon here looks like it's a little bit um, stretched or, or squished in a way. I'm not sure if maybe the PNG, when you imported it, you may have pulled the handles a little bit and stretched uh, and kind of smushed the image a little bit because it looks just a little bit skewed. Um, so it may be good to go back and, and take a look at that. Um, I think also the strokes on this are a little bit too thick, especially on the box. If you see how much how thin these lines are, we want to try to match that as perfectly as possible. I think you nailed it with the, the text here and the spacing between the text. Um, that was a really great job. But yeah, I think there you may have excellently stretched it and not known and were working on it the whole time, but you just got to look out for that and just constantly be referring back to the PNG that you're trying to replicate uh, during the whole process. That's always a good rule of thumb. Great job, Dana. All right, last up we have Nicole. And Nicole nailed it on this uh, eyedropper industries one. Um, really great uh, stroke width. Um, I think this is a little bit off. The spacing here just feels a tad bit off. And something that I've been telling uh, a lot of you is that uh, I've seen you guys have had a bit of an issue connecting, uh, getting these two aligned. And something that might be helpful is instead of creating this whole thing while it's rotated, is actually to look at it as if it was not rotated at all, recreating it so that you can line up all of these lines and take advantage of the smart guides and kind of straight lines instead of kind of doing that at this 
slight angle. Um, that might be helpful to do that. And here's your Pathfinder exercise. You did an awesome job in this Pathfinder exercise. Um, really nailed it using a lot of perfect circles, which is what we want to see here. Um, really awesome. Great job on the type. It's spaced perfectly. Um, awesome job on that, Nicole. Guys, you did a great job um, with these exercises. I'm really excited to see you guys um, just tackling the pen tool, um, tackling just trying to recreate something. I know it can be a, uh, a challenge because raster images really don't hold up when they're being scaled, and uh, rebuilding them is super tough when it's at a low resolution. So great job. See you guys in the next episode.